Hey, my friends, JT DeBolt is with you today for the Elite Marketing Pro Daily Dose of Awesome, your 15 minutes of inspiration, education, and motivation to help you get your day started off right. And before I jump right into this, let me just say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever time it is for you, no matter where you might be tuning in from on the Big Blue Marble. Thank you for joining us here each and every single Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Always great to be with you as you're jumping out here. Let me know who you are and where you are tuning in from On the Big Blue Marble. It is great to have our friends out there. What's up, Krista? I see Sally's here. I see Brandy. What's up? Brandy Shaver in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty awesome to have Brandy here, as well as everybody else. Marilyn, Hennigan, Beggs, good to see you, my friend. Kara, uh, Karen, Birdwell, see you from Texas. All right, Texas is in the house. We're going to be talking today as uh, Alexandra and Stacy and Holly, as everybody's jumping out here. I'm going to jump right into today's topic because it's one of the most important things that you can do for your network marketing business, for your business in general, and actually really for your entire life. What do you suppose right now is the one thing that if you were to do it, it would alter your business for the better? It would actually put you on the, tra the trajectory to expanding your business. If you had to guess, what might that be? Hey, Larry, what's up, buddy? We are here to fly high. That is for sure. Uh, I see Holly coming in from Pennsylvania, Susan Peters, uh, Chelsea uh, calling out Aloha, Jill, good to see you, Lisa, awesome. If you had to guess, what's one thing that you might do right now in your business or even in your life that would expand what you do to help you not just do more, okay? We're not just talking about doing uh, more volume or we're not just talking about doing more capacity, we're talking about doing even higher quality work. What's the one thing that might be? I want to see what you guys have to share here in the chat box. Lots of people coming in. Hey, Pia, checking in from Sweden. Awesome. Cheryl, checking in from New York. This is awesome. Okay. I love this, man. See, this, one of my favorite parts about the Daily Dose is the energy that we all come together here in the Elite Marketing Pro uh, community. Here to support each other, here to serve each other, but more importantly, here to learn from each other. Okay. So, Karen from uh, uh, Karen Birdwell saying, learn, increase intellectual capital. You are absolutely right. I agree with you. And you're actually on the right track for what I'm going to be talking about today. Rosemary Fritz says, or Fritz says, uh, meet challenges. Yes, absolutely. In fact, we're going to talk about that. Fernie Ceballos dialing in from Seattle. What's up, homeboy? Uh, Robin McDonald says outsourcing. That's actually a really great one. Uh, David Barsh calling in from Beantown. What's up out there in uh, good old Boston? That's good to see you, man. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of jump to the chase because it's one of the most important things that, that I have learned over the course of my career as an entrepreneur. And it's actually something that was reinforced here over the past three days. Past three days, I've had a pretty amazing experience, something that happened for me. And I'm going to kind of explain to you the backstory and talk to you about how this all, all came about and really what the, what the end result was. So I've been working here with Elite Marketing Pro for a couple of months now, and it's been amazing. Had the opportunity to do some very cool things, start to work a little bit more deeply with the mentorship program, specifically with the Fast Track Mentorship Program. And for all of you people, the amazing people that make up that community, uh, it's very exciting to see the growth and to see really the, the impact that that community, community can make and the training and the mentorship that goes with it. So we got together this past week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, in a private place here in Seattle. And we actually sat down as a team. There was a few of us. Fernie was there. Uh, TJ was there. Kate McShay. Uh, Carrie Hyam was there. And a lot of people that just really kind of came together to talk about how we can take this business, not just EMP, but the, uh, the uh, mentorship program to a whole new level. What's interesting about it is just by asking that one question, how might we do that? How might we go to a whole new level? How might we expand that? It caused us to have to really look deeper into what it is we do. We had some amazing experts, especially, uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to two people that really made a big, big impact, huge impact. Uh, Blair and Melissa, uh, they, they were just these, uh, they were basically our facilitators. They were our teachers. And what, what we learned over this past week was more than just how to expand and grow a business. It was more than just about how to communicate, more than just about how to move people forward. It was really about how to become the best versions of ourselves. So Blair and Melissa Dunkley came out from Canada and uh, worked with us on some amazing uh, 
I'll just I'll just cut straight to the chase. They were teaching us new techniques and ways of seeing ourselves. And I have to tell you the straight up truth. As a networker, if you're looking to build and expand your network marketing business, it all starts with you. And I saw some great questions out here. Some folks were saying, hey, listen, you know, I want to grow myself. Uh, I know that I've got to challenge myself and face challenges and push myself. And that's all great. And it's true. And I agree with that. The single biggest thing you can do for yourself is to stretch yourself. In fact, it's kind of interesting because that was how uh, Fernie described the experience that we had this past week and how we were really going deep on some of the big challenges that we are not just facing as individuals, but facing as a team, facing as a company, facing as an organization. Now, I personally was able to kind of get through some of the blocks, some of the things that have been holding me back from my performance. And I think that's the first part that, that we have to really address is number one, we have to recognize that we may not be where we want to be. But it's very easy to get stuck in a sense of saying, well, we're not where we want to be. And all of a sudden, we start asking a very disempowering question. That disempowering question is something that I'm going to share with you. Before I ask it, I want you to ask, what do you think the disempowering question might be? And by the way, if you've ever been in a place where you were up against the stops, when you were, if you've ever been up against uh, kind of a, a glass ceiling in your business or in your life or even in your career, I want you to give me a one in the chat box. And I'm just going to see kind of who, uh, who dials in. Hey, what's up, Alex from Chicago? We're going to be in Chicago here in about a week. Looking forward to that, less than a week. So if you've ever been up against a challenging place, there's Jill jumping out like the leader she is, admitting, hey, sometimes, you know, I've hit those places, those roadblocks, those glass ceilings. The question that, okay, so Jan asks a great question. What's wrong with me? That's a very great question. Um, what are we doing wrong? Believe it or not, those questions in and of themselves aren't necessarily bad questions. It's not necessarily a disempowering question. Now, there's other ways to ask what's wrong with me. Maybe a better question is what might I do to become better? What might I do to get stronger? But it's not necessarily the worst question. But on the same lines of that question is the question why. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into this right now, but I want you to stick with me here. A lot of times when we ask the question why is it puts us in the past as was taught to us by Blair and Melissa Dunkley. They showed me this whole new way of thinking and to tell you the complete honest truth, it was something that I had a very difficult time conceptualizing at first. Not accepting but conceptualizing because my entire career as a coach and even as a speaker has been built around helping people find their why. You probably heard this a hundred times and a lot of really smart people have been teaching this for a very long time. The challenge with this, the thing that I found out was that it kind of keeps you stuck in the past. It doesn't kind of keep you stuck in the past. It absolutely keeps you stuck in the past. And what was amazing for me was there was a lot of really hard work that went into it this week to fully understand the, the, the impact that a question like why can actually do for us. Now, I don't want to go too much into this, uh, into this whole methodology about why and you know the disempowering feeling that it can have okay that's not necessarily the point of today's topic the point of today's topic is if you really want to expand your business if you really want to expand your life you have to start by stretching yourself for me this concept of why was a challenge i had to really stretch myself because again it was something that i had accepted as a belief system it was very deeply ingrained in my dna and to to be you know, sort of expanded, almost scrambled and turned inside out was a huge challenge. Now, here's the other part that's exciting about this is once we realize, hey, I could change and I might change if I if I start asking better questions, I might change if I grow, I might change if I challenge myself. The next exciting part is what do we do next? Because when we start thinking about how can I expand my network marketing business, the first part we're thinking is, oh, I've got to go get more leads, right? I've got to go out there and, and get more traffic to my website, or I need to have more face-to-face -face meetings. I need to get in front of more people. I need to push my products on more people. And that's not necessarily a bad place to come from, but now we're getting tactical, right? We're thinking of all the tactics we have to employ to, in order to expand our business. When really, the first uh, and most important thing we need to look at is a strategy. Strategically speaking, one of the most important, most powerful, and most, most everlasting strategies we can put in place is to constantly stretch ourselves. Now, think about this. If you take a rubber band and you stretch it, what have I just done? In fact, just watch my hands. Have my hands gotten closer or have they gotten further apart? It's a pretty obvious question, right? They've gotten further apart, which means now there's more space. There's more capacity. When we stretch ourselves mentally, when we stretch ourselves intellectually, uh, when we stretch ourselves even physically, when we stretch ourselves uh, emotionally, even spiritually, we give ourselves more space. 
there's more distance, more, more space that we can actually fill. And isn't that exciting? If we allow ourselves to stretch mentally, for instance, what that means is that now we're, t we're challenging ourselves to think harder, to be more focused, to, to use our brain as that amazing, powerful tool that it can be. When we stretch ourselves intellectually, what that means is we're seeking deeper meaning. We're seeking deeping, uh, deeper understanding. I'm going to give you one strategy for that in just a moment. If this is resonating with you, if you're saying to yourself, JT, I get it. I think stretching myself would definitely impact my business. I want you to give me a two, kind of like the peace sign here in the chat box. Because what I want you to understand is this, is that as we start to believe in the expansion of ourselves, our ability to expand, and as we start to understand that that expansion can help us be better at network marketing and better as networkers, we can start to actually build our income. We can actually start to build our revenue. We can actually start to do the things that a lot of us came to do to get Get the results in our business right but in order for us to get those results we also have to be very intentional which by the way was another lesson that I learned this week from the amazing Melissa Dunkley she has actually teaching us a methodology by which to connect our results to our um, to our uh, uh, intentions easy for me to say the reason I share this with you is that if you come out of your business and you start to look at it and you say, okay, what is it I'm here to achieve? What is it that I really want for my business? And we can get crystal clear and have that clarity of purpose behind you know, the, the what, the, the actual target, the result. Then we can go back and look at the purpose. What is the, what is the impact that we're looking to make? And more importantly, you know, what's going to drive us? What's the thing that's going to get us up every single day? What does this thing really mean to us? Now, all of a sudden, we can connect the result with the intention. And when those two things are connected, it's just a matter of building the roadmap to get us there. This requires us to expand ourselves, though. This requires us to, do, to go way more from just, let me learn the tactics. Let me learn the step-by-step. -step. Let me learn the to-do list. Because you don't need another to-do list, right? What you really require is something that's going to get you up keep you driven and drive you to the result, not just to it, but through it, and then move on to the next result, the next result, and the next result. And that brings me to that point that I was going to get to in just a moment ago, and that is this. Listen, one of the most important things that you can do for yourself to expand is to ask deeper, better questions of yourself. A lot of times this can be very overwhelming, and I actually felt this this past week. There was a point where I felt totally impacted. There was a, there was a point through the training where I thought, man, this I'm, I'm in over my head. That was actually the feeling I had. I couldn't quite conceptualize it, and I was thinking to myself, what is this feeling? And, you know, I'm a former Navy pilot. I've gone through flight training. I should be able to take a lot of information and drink from the virtual fire hose of knowledge, so to speak. But for whatever reason, I was just up against the stops. And so I had to step back and ask myself, what does this mean? You know, what, is this, what does this information represent? Does it represent an opportunity or does it represent an overwhelm? And when I thought to myself, it represents an opportunity, everything shifted. Now, all of a sudden, I had expanded. It was almost as if the fire hose became smaller. But it really wasn't that the fire hose became smaller because the information was still coming at me. It's that I became much larger. My capacity to understand and receive became better. So now, the next time you're up against a challenger, the next time you want to expand yourself as a, as a marketer or you want to expand yourself as a networker, ask yourself, what is this? Is it an opportunity or is it overwhelm? Now, that, may, that one question in and of itself may not do it for you. You may say to yourself, JT, listen, I can see it's an opportunity. In fact, the, the fact that I recognize it, it, is, it as an opportunity makes it even that much more overwhelming because I don't want to miss the opportunity. If you've ever experienced that feeling, give me a three in the chat box. If you've ever felt that sense like this is an awesome opportunity and I see it, but man, just the recognition just the acknowledgement that it's an opportunity creates a sense of overwhelm. If that's happened for you, type a three into the chat box. I'm going to give you my three because that certainly has happened for me. Here's the most important lesson that I got these past three days on how to handle overwhelm. When you think about overwhelm, overwhelm typically means that something big, something important oftentimes, is coming at you very fast. There's a lot of people typing questions in um, or typing comments in. If you came into this 
And if you came up against a situation and you were saying to yourself, listen, you know, this is important to me, but it's very overwhelming, or I've got a lot of things that I have to do, and that feels very overwhelming. Sometimes overwhelm can be a good thing. Sometimes overwhelm is a challenging thing. Sometimes overwhelm is a stressful thing, and sometimes overwhelm is a happy thing. You get overwhelmed. If you've ever been to Disneyland, you know what that feels like, that sensory input. You're like, whoa, but Disneyland is typically a pretty fun place to be, right? The best way to get past a place of overwhelm is to slow things down. All right. Sometimes you just have to slow things down. Sometimes you need to come to a complete stop. That's something that Blair taught me this past week. And it was one of the most powerful lessons I've learned is to slow things down and be OK with a slower pace. Because when we slow things down, it allows us to comprehend things. It allows us to go deeper in our understanding. So if you're going to expand yourself as a networker, first thing you want to do, if you're going to be a great network marketer, if you're going to be a great business leader, if you're going to be a great marketer, whatever the title is that you want, if you want to be the best CEO of your business, you have to have the capacity to expand. But expanding sometimes means taking on a lot more. When that happens... When you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're starting to feel, hey, man, I'm going to build my business. I'm going to grow this thing. It's going to be fast. It's going to be big. Actually, what you want to do is slow things down. Now, how do we do that? One thing that you might do in a situation where you feel overwhelmed and you're saying, I need to slow this down, is to focus in on just one thing. This weekend, I want you to consider this. What's one thing in your business right now that you might do that will help you expand your business. What's one thing you might do? Just one thing. And it doesn't have to be something that's, you know, world changing. I think a lot of times we get in this position where we're saying to ourselves, well, is that really going to do it? Is this going to be that expansive thing? Is this going to be the world changing thing? Don't worry about it. Don't judge it yet. Ask yourself the question, what's one thing I might do this week or this, this coming, you know, on, starting on Monday or even starting today that I might do that would actually expand my business? And of course, as I kind of alluded to, you want to expand yourself. You want to stretch yourself. So let's answer that question as well. What's one thing I need to do to stretch myself? Now, you're going to say to yourself all kinds of things, perhaps. Perhaps you're going to come up and say, well, I need to do more work. I need to get back into that lesson. I need to study this. I need to study that. There might be some validity to that. The challenge, though, is to ask yourself, what's the area? What's one area that you would like to expand? Is it to be a better communicator? Is it to be a better listener? Is it to be better to be a better closer? Maybe it's to be a better copywriter. Maybe it's to be, uh, you know, even just be a better husband or a better wife or a better parent. Ask yourself that, that one, that one question. What's one area that I would love to expand myself? What's one area I would love to stretch myself? And then one action that you can take to actually push yourself down the path of stretching. And when I talk about stretching, I'm not just talking about challenging yourself or pushing yourself or making it harder. I'm talking about going to a place where you really tap into your greatness, a place where you tap into your natural strengths. A place where perhaps you've laid dormant for a while, perhaps some place where you've turned a blind eye, perhaps some place where you said to yourself, you know what, yeah, I could do that, and I might do that, or I would do that, but, and you start filling in the blanks with all the kinds of reasons why you won't do it. See, when we start going into a place of why we can't or why we won't, we've put ourselves behind the eight ball. The question is, what might you do? to put yourself in that position where you grow and expand? What might you do to put yourself in a position where you stretch yourself? What might you do to put yourself in a place where you become better, stronger, more capable, more of the true authentic self that you are? That's the question that you want to answer, ask yourself, and that's where you want to challenge yourself. And my challenge to you as your mission accomplishment coach here in Elite Marketing Pro is to push you to think about that this weekend. One of the best ways you can work or that you can do to expand your business is to stretch yourself. Because the more you stretch yourself, the bigger your business will grow. The more you stretch yourself, the more capable your business will become. The more you stretch yourself, the more other people will come to you because they're going to see that kind of growth that you're going through. And that's the part that's going to be impressive to them, but not for the sake of being impressed, for the sake of being inspired. They're going to be inspired by the work you do for yourself, on yourself, and on your business. They're going to want to duplicate that. And that, my friends, is going to expand more than just your business and more than just your bank account. 
It's going to expand your influence. And as we expand our influence and do more good in the world, doesn't that just make you feel great? Isn't that just something that you can get really inspired by and driven by? If that's the case for you, give me a five in the chat box. I want to know if you're driven and if, you're, if you are inspired and if you are, more importantly, if you're intending to build a business that is bigger and stronger and better each and every single day. If that's you, give me a five in the chat box. All right, my friends. Well, that just about does it for today. It is Friday. It is November 10th. Get out there this weekend. Do the things you love to do. Spend time doing them with the people you love being around. Challenge yourself. Stretch yourself. Ask, your, ask yourself those important questions. What's one area right now that I would love to stretch myself? And ask yourself that one powerful question. What's one thing I might do right here, right now, today to stretch myself, to help myself find that inner greatness and the best version of myself? And then get after it. It's a simple, simple act just like that. Don't overthink it. Don't think that you've got to have all the, all, all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed. Just get into action mode and get after it. My friends, today is a wrap. Looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. Make sure you join us here each and every single Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern for the Elite Marketing Pro uh, Daily Dose of Awesome. If you got some great stuff out of this, if this resonated with you, if this shook you up, or if this made you feel like, yeah, baby, I'm ready to stretch myself, then I challenge you to share this message with people in your network that you know would benefit from it. Get yourself over to EliteMarketingPro.com where you can access our free 10-day boot camp to help you expand and stretch your business online. And remember, no matter what course you fly in life, fly high, fly fast, and fly far. We'll see you soon.